Hello Steelers and welcome to another Bench Report Hobby Update. Uh, another one for a new week and a new Hobby Update of course. Uh, just before I say I'm actually recording this on the Friday. Uh, this will be going out on Sunday uh, because tomorrow is Steel Lard and I've got a few other things I want to do this weekend as well. So I will be talking more about Steel Lard next week uh, but just to let you know so uh, if I don't mention it in this one that's the reason why. That will have happened on Saturday, which is yesterday when this video will be out, but tomorrow while I'm recording the video. So, with that madness out of the way, uh, let's have a look at what I've been painting this week. Well, first of all, I got in touch with Paul, the genie over at Sabotaged, and I asked him if he could print me some 3D haystacks, or hayricks. Uh, he found some uh, really interesting ones that he got some designs for, and then printed me a bunch of these off, and I painted those in no time at all. A lot of people have asked me uh, what colours I painted them in, and basically I did them as a base coat in Burnt Umber, so a dark brown then I painted them in just any standard yellow I can't remember which one I used I think it was uh, it may have been Vallejo's uh, sand yellow perhaps I think or maybe even dark yellow uh, but just painted them in those gave them a wash in Agrax Earthshade uh, which was nice and easy and then when that was dry I gave them one final dry brush with stone grey again from Vallejo dead easy uh, nothing more than that uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm quite chuffed with them they look like oldish haystacks and uh, that's kind of what you want isn't it really uh, the other thing as well I painted was I found out all my old three mil stuff as well because I was playing Rommel last week and it reminded me what a, a good game it is with some caveats in there I really need to uh, there's a few things that I would change definitely but uh, overall it's a great game you know it's uh, the the, uh, the bulk of it is nice so I painted some Soviet infantry I painted three uh, nine uh, companies basically so it's uh, just over a battalion's worth uh, for the Soviets uh, in their case so uh, they were dead easy to do uh, and I'd forgotten how easy they are to paint 3D, uh, 3 mil stuff. I've actually been thinking about uh, Rommel for First World War stuff as well at divisional level, and I've just been trying to work out um, how things would work in the table, in the, on the table itself, and I think it would work pretty well. A little bit like uh, a next level up square bashing, I would have said. So I'm just kind of jotting down a few notes really at the moment, really, as to, to, to make units, and it might be something I'll come back to at some point in the future. Uh, but yeah, Rumble is a, is a good game. I think it just needs a few tweaks here and there. And then finally, uh, I got these in the post as well, actually, this week. Uh, on Monday, I got these from Peter Pig. This is an American Airborne Platoon for Chain of Command. So a full platoon here. Uh, nice and easy to paint. Did them in the M1943 jacket, so a darker green than the earlier lightish uh, stone greyish colour uh, so these are going to be used in my Christmas game which is forthcoming so there's another clue for you uh, I'm going to be recording that this weekend as well so uh, probably by the time this has been out I probably will have already recorded that game um, I'm currently wondering if Dean is going to join me I did ask him uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to make it because he, he said he got some other um, uh, commitments so maybe we'll get uh, you'll you, you'll get to see a game with me and Dean otherwise it'll just be me but either way I'll be playing it anyway uh, so yeah I've already mentioned what I got in the post anyway I got the uh, I got some more haystacks here from Steve over at uh, Battle Scale uh, these ones I'm just uh, in the in the process of painting. You can see they're just brown undercoat. So these I've got some other ones, some older ones here that I'm just going to touch up a little bit uh, and just make them look a little bit nicer. The other thing as well uh, is I got some new palettes as well. Uh, this is something that you know some uh, things. One of those things that you know you, you kind of don't really think about, but it is all part of the hobby, really. It's all the peripheral stuff. And I got these aluminium palettes, the ones I used in the plaster, plastic ones, and these are really scratched. And I just wondered how good these will be at getting paint off. You know, when you've got paint on them, so just see how easy they are to clean. I just got three of them. I think they're about ten quid for three. Dead cheap, uh, and you know. Uh, not disposable but a very very use useful and cheap uh, item really uh, something that's worthwhile I'll, uh, if I remember I'll put a link for for what I got uh, in the uh, in the description down below but you can just search and find stainless steel or aluminium uh, pallets all over the place I mean I don't use a, uh, a wet palette I know Ken over at Yorkshire Gamer can't stand them I'm a little ambivalent towards them I've used them in the past I don't really see their huge use unless you're doing lots of blending and uh, mixing of paint that's something I generally don't do 
I usually paint usually paint out of the pot. Uh, it's very rare that I will, you know, mix a couple of paints up. I do do it on occasion, but you know, it's not very often. And even if I do, I can kind of remember how much paint I've mixed together uh, if I'm going to do it again anyway. I uh, I, I, I uh, played Rommel uh, just last week. That was for a video, so that will be coming out soon. That is all edited and ready to go. It's about an hour and a half, I think, that one. It was a good game, Battle of Kursk, uh, July 1943, with the Soviets and the Germans. Germans trying to break through. Will they do it? You'll have to find out when that video comes out. Uh, that's actually going to be early next year, so look out for that January time. Then, at the club... Uh, I played a game of Altar of Freedom with uh, Terry, he was running it. Uh, it was a Napoleonic version of it, we were played Quattro Bra as well. Uh, so this was a, a different version of it that Terry's been working on. Terry has actually already written some Napoleonic rules. I think they're called Napoleon's, Napoleon's Wars or Napoleon's Battles or something. I can't remember which ones they are, uh, but he's written some. And they, uh, he, so he's kind of... Uh, messed about with the original American Civil War rules for um, Altar of Freedom and turned them into a Napoleonic one. Now, I know everybody's going to ask me what's the difference, and to be perfectly honest, I probably couldn't tell you, simply because I've only played the American Civil War one version of AOF once. So, uh, you know, that was a few weeks ago, so I can't really remember exactly, you know, the difference. But I think from what he was saying, it was more to do with adding more cavalry unit types that kind of thing there was a few other things that we changed as we were playing as well stuff um the imperial guard cavalry piled into uh, and through most of the uh, the anglo uh, the, the brunswicks and, and some of the other allied units and we figured after every attack they really should be getting a fatigue for it because they just they just waltz through them um in the end of the game, uh, sl a slow and ponderous start from the French, uh, but then it was very squeaky bum time on the last couple of turns. But us allies, myself and Chris, we held off Paul's French, and it was a great game. Really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, that was uh, that was kind of like the, the the hobbying stuff I've been doing this week. Really, the <clears throat> as I say. This weekend, oh, the other thing, yeah, I was just, uh, I forgot to mention it, I, I currently I am painting uh, Richard Hogg's third uh, Singapore black and white house in the moment. This just needs a bit of cleaning up, and then that's pretty much done, so I, I was hoping to get that done this weekend. I don't think I will, but I'll get it done by next weekend. The other thing as well, you can't see them, but I've got a load of 3 mil Hannah mags on the table here, and I'm now just waiting for some bases, and I'm going to base these up again for Rommel, so they will be a nice, easy project. I did actually get some bases, but I put the wrong millimetre in. I put 25 millimetres in instead of 250 millimetres <laughs> into the uh, thing, so I've got these little uh, two and a half centimeter squares which are absolutely no good to anybody so the other thing i've got coming up as well is i said i'm, I'm going to be filming the christmas uh, video this weekend or at least uh, one of the Christmas videos the one that I'm doing in conjunction with Tabletop uh, Basement the guys in Germany uh, so that's going to get filmed uh, later on as I say I don't know if it's going to be with Dean or if it's going to be a solo game so you'll have to wait and see what happens and <clears throat> the other thing is uh, yesterday or tomorrow depending on your uh, your uh, perspective mine tomorrow yours yesterday was steel lard uh, i am taking my core select sugar factory uh, camp, uh, game down for great war chain of command and i'm going to actually be using great war chain of command rules as well uh, for the first time uh, in public as well so i'm going to see how far they stretch and if they break uh, and how much people use them as well so we'll, we're going to get on with that and just see what uh, what the story is. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Should be good fun. It's always good fun, Steel Lard, uh, and it's always well attended. So uh, if I did see you there, hello. <laughs> uh, and uh, I don't know who I'll see there, but I'm sure I will see some people. And I guess the other big news as well this week is that it's the opening of Napoleon, uh, the new film by Ridley Scott, of course, which everybody is talking about. Uh, I've got my ticket uh, on, I'm going to go and see it on Wednesday, I'm going to go dressed as Marat because I'd want to go cosplaying, uh, that joke will never get old, but uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, absolutely looking forward to it, I've watched all the trailers, I've watched most of the uh, the little extra bits and pieces that have been around, I know, I know, I know it's not going to be historic, I know it's not, uh, I mean, 
you know, even Ridley Scott has upset historians recently on uh, over on History of High Hit, I think, saying something like there's, there's only 400 books on Napoleon and the only ones that are worth reading are two, uh, the first two. I mean, you know, that is not history for a start. And also, there aren't 200 or 400 books on Napoleon. I think most war gamers have probably got 400 books on Napoleon. You know, there's thousands of these things out there. Uh, so, you know, two, two uh, rid ridiculously stupid uh, uh, statements on his part but I think the uh, the the film is just going to be a great film I think it's just going to be good fun when Ridley Scott makes good films he makes very good films he does make some dross but he does also make some very good films as well uh, so I'm looking forward to that very much uh, I think it's going to be uh, quite a quite a visual spectacle and I'm going to go and see it in IMAX as well which is even better so you know I, I can't be going to the cinema I do enjoy it uh, but I will give you a rundown of it uh, in the next hobby updates i'll let you know what i thought of it in the next one uh, so yeah so uh let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to it i'm sure i'm sure there's going to be like 50 50 of people saying it's going to be rubbish 50 50 of uh, the other people are saying they can't wait and i'm in that latter camp looking forward to it absolutely right okay i'll leave it to that because uh, I need to get stuff ready for tomorrow so I will say thank you very much for watching as always and I will see you in the next Storm of Steel video if you haven't done please do subscribe and ta-ta for now